let's get into this i wanted to make this video you know a little short it took me forever to set up and you know get everything together because i do only have this one hand hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me justina Alyssa. And today I am here with some news to share with you all. Yes, I do have a sling on my arm. I actually dislocated my shoulder about a week ago. And I just wanted to share my journey with you and how rough it's been and how strong I had to be. And just to give you a couple of tips for like whenever you're feeling down or something or if something tragic happens in your life and just how to be strong especially in a time where you injure yourself and you have to stay stuck home for so long and how dreading that can be for your mind and your body i just wanted to go over a couple of things with you all before i start i'll tell you what happened in my shoulder what happened was i was literally just putting my seatbelt on my left shoulder popped out don't know how, I have no idea what happened. It just happened and I have dislocated my shoulders before. So this is not new to me. I'm healing now, it's been about a week and my shoulder is getting a lot better. I can move it very little bit, but it's just not the same yet. It's still very sore and I have to be super careful because I can dislocate it again. I just been going to doctor's appointments and trying to stay positive while I'm stuck at home. Since I first dislocated my shoulder, I have not been able to do anything in the house. At home, I literally am the one who does everything. So to have people come over and help me and cook for me and you know ordering food it has been a blessing but it has been very hard because i feel like when people come over i want to be their host i want to host them and i feel like people are hosting me in my own home and it's like oh, it's so sweet but at the same time i'm like i wish it was the other way around i really cannot do anything it was so hard for me to shower the first couple of days i couldn't lift my shoulder and you know like we grow hair under our underarms and you know it starts to smell i was not allowed to put deodorant on so little things like that started to like pile up on me as the days went by and you know i'm just sitting there i cannot do anything at all I'm starting to smell myself way too much. I'm in pajamas all day. I can't even tie up my hair. You know, like at least I was able to like brush my teeth, wash my face with a rag and stuff, but I couldn't tie my hair up. And for us curly girls, like our hair is not easy to deal with. I've had my boyfriend tie up my hair. I've tried with one hand to like twirl up my hair. It just didn't work out. So that was one of my struggles was my hair. So my hair was literally in a bun for days and the top of my hair was just like sticking up and it just looked crazy. All of that at once, my hair, my body, you know, not being able to do anything is so hard, especially for us women where we like to be in control and do everything. It, it was not like that for me. There was times where I was home for hours by myself and you know, you start to feel down, you start overthinking in your head and it gets hard, it really does. So it's only been one week for me. So for those people who are stuck home or who injured themselves worse than I did because I would not say this is a bad injury. I know there's people who have it way worse and you know, they spend it more time at home rehabbing and that is very dreading being home you're pretty much talking to yourself all day long and you're literally waiting on people to come and take care of you so you're like very dependent on others that can be stressful because you're already in pain you're ready you cannot move you're unstable and then you have to depend on people so i just wanted to go over a couple of things that actually helped me this week it was not easy. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. There were days where I just wanted to cry and I was sad. I took a couple of steps to push myself and to remind myself everything happens for a reason. And on the first night this happened, last Sunday, when I got home from the hospital, I was so sad. And I kept thinking like, wow, this is such a setback for me. 
And I kept thinking that like, man, how am I going to work? How am I going to do my YouTube channel? How am I going to make videos? How am I going to do anything from home with one arm? I cannot. So I kept looking at it as such a negative way. And then for some reason, as the days went by, I had a lot of people text me, see how I was doing and send some like very nice text messages to me of like how do not look at this as a setback, stay positive, you're strong. And you know how God has a plan for me and all these nice words. And then I, I thought to myself like, wow, there's actually people who are thinking of me and I'm home sad. So that's when I kind of like snapped out of it. You just sometimes need that reassurance from others. Like, girl, pick yourself up. You're going to be fine. You're, It's going to pass really soon. <laughs> like, because I was thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to be in a sling forever. I'm not going to be able to get anything done. And it hurt because I had so many goals from before the new year even began i have been getting in the habit of waking up early eating healthier you know working on my skincare doing my juices meditate every day i journal i read and now it did feel like a very big step back for me because i was not able to do a lot of those things that i was doing before i couldn't cook for myself I couldn't wake up early because I couldn't sleep at night. So my sleeping patterns were like all over the place. It wasn't easy being strong by myself. And it wasn't easy being strong having people over doing things for me while I was just sitting there and watching them. But then I realized, you know, sometimes we have to depend on people when we are in need. And sometimes we just have to accept the fact that people care about us and we should allow them to do things to help us when we are also in need. It is okay to let people take care of you. I know as women, we always think like, no, we have to do everything and you know, no one's gonna take care of us. But in reality, there's always gonna be at least one person there for you to take care of you and you need to allow them to. And that was kind of hard for me too because like I said, I'm always doing everything, you know, I'm the the woman in my house and I feel like that's my responsibility to take care of everything and do everything. Some people may disagree with me, but that's just how I grew up. So when I had someone else taking care of me or family, it felt weird, okay? And it brought me down a little bit, but I got over it. I had to just accept the fact that I'm hurt and I have someone here for me to take care of me. And once you once you look at things in that way, it changes your perspective so much. So I was like, you know what? Thank you. Like I just kept thanking everyone who would come over and who helped me. And you know, I was just so blessed and grateful for them. I was looking at it in such a negative way and all I needed to do was just change my mindset because our minds <laughs> literally attack us and we don't realize it. So all I had to do was switch it up a little bit and I was fine. I wasn't 100% fine, but it helped me relax and just accept it. And I had to teach myself that it was not a setback. I had to tell myself like, I am here because it is preparing me for where I need to be. And thinking of it in that way was so much easier for me to say, you know what, you're right. <laughs> like. Let me just stay relaxed because I'm so like I'm so antsy all the time. I'm always up doing things. So it was so hard for me to stay calm when I first hurt my shoulder and I'm like I really need to chill. It was hard. But it's preparing me for something very big and you know what? I just I'm taking it all in and I stopped wasting my time just sitting on the couch and being sad. I actually started meditating because I'm on the couch. I couldn't lay in my bed because I had to sleep sitting up with my shoulder. So I just brought my AirPods with me on the couch. I meditated in the morning and I meditated during the day when I was alone and when I start to like think sadly. And meditation is so powerful. It just, it relaxes you, it calms you down and it really made me feel so much better. And then I started reading Colleen Hoover, the book It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us are my favorite books. So I started to read 
and it kept my mind off things so reading actually calms me down a lot and it made me feel better because it made the time go by so fast especially because those books are so good <laughs> with one arm it's so hard to like position the book and change the page and um, they're like trying my best but it's I'm still able to read but it is difficult and I just laugh at myself so it makes it better I would just walk around in the apartment I can't really lift heavy things I would try and do very minimal things in the house there's not much that I can do and I would just watch TV I have been watching Ginny and Georgia great show a lot of people have been telling me to watch it and I'm so happy that I started so on top of journaling meditating reading and watching TV I actually have also been editing some of my videos as best as I can because <laughs> I only have one arm and it's like I'm on my laptop with the one hand or on my phone trying to like organize things or prepare things for my YouTube channel and you know being on the screen so much gets so tiring because I'm just sitting there and on my screen but I have been so strong the last couple of days the first two days were very rough for me I started to get sad and now I'm like, I'm ready to start healing. Like, I'm ready for this to be over. I'm ready for what is to come. And that's literally all that it took was for me to just be strong and change my mindset. And I'm so happy that I listened to myself. And meditation helped me so much. It calms my mind. And then I'm just like, oh, I'm so relieved and relaxed. And then I can just lay there calmer than I was before instead of wanting to be antsy and all over the place. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you is when you are hurt or going through something or injured, when you're going through something, anything, that is the best time to evaluate who your friends and your family are. People really show their true colors when you are in need. And keep that in mind when something is going on in your life. Who is there for you? Because you really need people. And at the end of the day, you want to surround yourself with people who you can trust and who are loyal to you. But you begin to see people's true colors when you're hurt. And you want to surround yourself with people who you can trust who want to take care of you, who are concerned when you are going through something. You want that kind of community around you and you want to surround yourself with the right people. So just stay strong when you are in your vulnerable time. It can also, not even just being hurt, it can be with anything, anything and anything. Just try and stay strong. We need to focus on what we tell ourselves. We have to stop putting ourselves down. And I'm learning that also, so that's why I wanted to share with you all so you can see what I'm going through and how difficult it was for me and how I'm trying and, and how I'm being strong and what I have been doing. So guys, please stay positive, talk to yourself kindly, and love yourself because at the end of the day, you are all you have, okay? So enough of me and my spiel because I'm always just ranting, but I did want to share all of that with you guys. So love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. I will keep you guys updated on my recovery. So I will see you guys soon. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, you know, share with others so they can also learn what it is to be strong and positive, especially when you're going through something. Thank you so much for watching, guys.